Now, strong words from a top church leader prompt a strong reaction from the LGBTQ groups locally. President Dallin H. Oaks, first counselor and the first presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, spoke about same-sex marriage and gender identity issues. News Utah's Andrew Reeser reports on how gay and trans church youth are responding. Many LGBTQ Mormon youth said they felt invalidated when they heard President Oaks's comments in General Conference Saturday. And that's why many of them showed up here to Encircle House in Provo, where they could find comfort. Some LGBTQ Mormons say it stung. The family is ordained of God. When President Dallin H. Oaks took another hard stance against same-sex marriage and gender identity issues, saying Satan is behind what he called these social pressures. He also seeks to confuse gender, to distort marriage, and to discourage childbearing. And it makes them even more vulnerable. LGBTQ outreach group Encircle in Provo said after Oaks's comments triggered teens struggling with these issues came knocking. We see kids who don't feel safe at home or at church or at school and they walk through that front door and you can just see them breathe. Looks like the first time they've exhaled all day. And I think over the weekend we saw a lot of that. Social media reaction was swift. Some LGBTQ advocates claiming they were receiving suicidal direct messages from youth. Others defending Oaks's comments. One user writing, while Dallin H. Oaks could have done a better job showing the love that we do have for LGBT members, I do appreciate the firm stance on what is right and the truth of the gospel. But Jordan Scrow believes Oaks's message isn't true, but damaging to kids already questioning where they fit into their church and their life. That child is then left to handle all of this emotional turmoil completely by themselves. If you or anyone you know may be in crisis at this moment, you can call the number on your screen. That number is 1-800-273-8255 for the National Crisis Hotline. Reporting in Provo, Andrew Reeser, News 4.